I'm Matt Vanacore from Ask Audio, and I'm going to explain how to get your hands off the computer and keep them on your instrument while working with Complete Control MK2. Complete Control MK2 and Machine MK3 are developed with workflow in mind, and if you learn how to utilize the screens, knobs, and controls, you can really make music right from the keyboard seamlessly. Let's take a look at how to do that in GarageBand. Once you've opened up GarageBand, the very first time you connect Complete Control to your computer, you'll get a little message, sort of just telling you that it's connected to GarageBand and it wants to be able to control your digital audio workstation. You can just press Connect. You don't even need to open up the Complete Control plugin to get control of your digital audio workstation using Complete Control MK2. So right away, just without doing anything or any configuration, I can play, stop, and record. I've got my transport controls, but even better, I can use this directional knob to scrub through anywhere I'd like to in the piece. So that's pretty easy. You can also directly select the tracks you're going to work with and record. So I can switch out of MIDI mode and go into mixer mode right here. Once I'm in mixer mode, you can see that I've got access to all the different volumes and faders of each channel. So if I hit play, you'll see a live representation of the volume. There you go. And there's my drum track. Once the bass kicks in, we'll see some levels on the bass track. I can adjust that right here. And of course, I can select any of these tracks using the soft buttons at the top. So if I want to add to it, I select the track and I start playing and I've got that instrument. If I pick a different instrument, I can play on that one. If I don't want to use those, I can also, while in MIDI mode, navigate through the tracks by using this knob. It's a directional encoder, so it goes up and down as well. If I push it, I can flip through the different tracks quite easily. When you're in MIDI mode, you can also mute and solo the different tracks. So if I want to go ahead and mute a track that I'm working with or solo it, I can easily do that right from the keyboard without having to reach over to the mouse. There are physical buttons for enabling and disabling the metronome as well as for tapping the tempo. And there's even a loop button, which when used with GarageBand will enable cycle recording, allowing you to work on one segment over and over and over again. You can even accomplish some basic editing tasks and quantize right from the keyboard. To do that, I'll record something that's a little bit out of time. So that's a little bit out of time, a little shaky. I'll open up the editor on the computer just so that you can see the notes and what happens to them. So I can just reach over and tap the physical quantize button right on Complete Control MK2 and check it out. My last performance gets quantized to 16th notes automatically. It's just a great little workflow tweak that allows you to keep your hands on the instrument a little more. Now remember, all of this is happening without a single instance of Complete Control software running. If you instantiate the plugin, you get a whole bevy of features that you can utilize right there on the Complete Control MK2 screens.